Hi, this is Christy with Thunder Laser Canada, and we're going to show you some easy tips and tricks to set up your rotary and get a clean and consistent engrave on a glass cup every single time. Quick overview. Using a rubber band, the glass will be secured onto the metal piece here, and then see that tiny little hole there on the wooden base? I just place that into the hole here, lock it in place, and then it spins perfectly every time. So let's go through that process. If this is your first rotary setup, this is a truck rotary. It is good for doing lots of different things. It is a little bit annoying to do months of losses, for which are one of the most common uses for the rotary, so here's what we've done to make it easier to use. So we see the truck in here. This point here won't stick. Well, it won't hold very well because of the glass. One of the things sometimes you can get away with is putting a little piece of rubber, cardboard, or foam, and then you can put pressure on it, locked in place, and then it'll rotate nicely. But even Better than that is to make a template that this locks into place with, and then in the middle of your template, you put a little hole. Okay, so place that there, and then lock it into the hole so it won't move. Lock this in place. Now this rolls perfectly every time. So we're going to go through how to make that happen. As we take our calipers here, you want to measure your glass base to make the template, and we'll use millimeters. So we can measure that this base is 62.5 millimeters, and we're going to also measure the top, the middle, the widest part, and see how wide the glass is there. So this one is 78 millimeters as well. So now we're going to build the base. Our template will be based on our measurements. So we measured roughly 61.8, but we're going to make this a little bit larger just to give us some wiggle room. And now we'll make another circle that is slightly larger. We'll make it roughly between 75 to 80 millimeters. I'm going to center them here, and then we are going to cut out this shape once, and then cut out the inside shape a second time. So I'll just give these two separate colors. So my outer cut here will do 1590, and then the inside is the same. I'm also going to place a third circle, a very small one right in the middle, and I want this to be even just a millimeter wide, so that's fine. So we'll take that and center it so that it is the little circle that is going to be located right in the very center. This allows us to line up our glass on the rotary. All right, we're ready to go. Three mil in the outer. Starting and turning off the blue line and then sending the job and doing it again right beside the first one is going to give you two layers. For demonstration purposes, this doesn't have to be pretty. We'll give the wood glue a few minutes to dry. So using a smaller glass this time, we are going to put another rubber band on the inside teeth. Just twist and place it here and then open the teeth. Like we saw earlier, with the rubber band on, it holds the cup in place without any risk of breaking the glass. Now we take our glue template piece here with that tiny hole and place it on and look at that, it's a perfect fit. Okay, so when we place the glass, we place the hole into the end of this. Now I will adjust the height. We'll move it up so that this is approximately straight where I want to engrave on. I want that area to be about straight height, so we'll take this and set that in the laser bed and plug this into the rotary plug here. We need a fixed length from the edge, so we are just going to use the measuring tool and make sure that this is about straight. Now lower that back in there, make it all the same color, set the speed and power correctly for your material. I will rotate this so it's about 90 degrees and set my job origin so it's in the middle right. That will allow me to center my laser head on the right hand side in the middle of the glass where I want to engrave. I have to go into the laser tools and I'm going to go into a rotary setup here and I'm going to change my object diameter to be the diameter of the glass to what we measured earlier. Right now this object is about 3 inches high. It's 71-72 millimeters high. Remember I said to set it to the top middle or to the right side middle? The first time when we frame it, we frame it well above the material because I don't want my head to crash. I want to make sure my frame is going to happen in an expected area. Now that the file has been sent, I'm going to hit my origin and frame it one more time. And there you see it's acting as expected. But that's a little bit larger than what we want. So I'm going to set the width to be about 65 millimeters high. Many of you are centered on your rotary and just move your head above the rail and you'll see that I'm not quite centered. I want to line up the laser point to one of the points here. Okay, I'm going to set this where I want my engraving to start with my origin to do a frame. Let's say that looks about right there. Lift this up to the engraving depth that I want it to be at. Basically, we generally like it to be just above that six millimeter mark at the closest point and that's about right there centered nicely. We're ready to lower the lid and turn on the Air Force distribution. The glass will now be cleanly engraved with no warping or shifting and the glass is secure in place. 
Wipe the glass down with a damp paper towel once it's done and you have yourself an engraved glass. So with all these little tips and tricks that we've shown you, hopefully you have a much easier time with your rotary engraver and you make lots of new fun projects. So happy engraving. <laughs>